here on our dashboard, we're able to see lobby statistics over time. We can see how many visitors have been served, the average wait time, how many abandons, and the average assist time in minutes. So over time here, we can see that, uh, that our visitors are trending up. Um, our wait times have come down over the last few months. And as I drill into this information, I'm going to get some more pictures about what are the busiest times of the day that visitors are arriving. So we've got a heat map here that's going to outline how many visitors arrived at 9 a.m. on Mondays, how many were abandoned, what the average wait time and the average assist time were. So this really is going to help organizations determine adequate staffing levels. We've had several organizations that have um, identified periods of time where they were, they were losing a lot of opportunity because their wait times were so long. Visitors were abandoning uh, at very high rates, which helped them to be able to validate to create the, the business need for adding that additional person. Um, others have found places where they, you know, where they can re-optimize staff where there's not the business need, there's not the visitor traffic uh, to drive the, this, to support the current staffing levels. Um, we can look at our busiest days of week. Um, and we can even look at products and services provided by employees in comparison with the branch. We can select particular products and services. So if we want to see who's doing the most medallion signatures or savings accounts, we can see that by person or by branch. So we've really provided a lot of ways to drill into the data and to, uh, to provide those key insights on how to improve bank processes. Um, one of the other things that uh, one of our clients did in the Northeast is they found out that uh, most of their members were coming in for online uh, banking. So instead of using some of the other channels that the, that the organization had provided, all their members were coming in to talk about setting up online banking. And that was consuming valuable sales time. So they figured out a way to, to revamp that process so that that, that people weren't coming in, you know, taking up the salespeople's time to work on something that's very service oriented. Now again, we want our salespeople focused on sales. So that's an example of some of the ways that these reports have been used to, to improve business processes. Um, so that concludes my portion today and I'll pass it back to Chad.